Foxy 107, 104, the real sound of the triangle. The new edition Legacy Tour is right around the corner. We are super excited. April 23rd in Greensboro at the Greensboro Coliseum. I've got Ronnie on the phone with me now. How's it going? Man, everything is good. How you doing yourself? Listen, I'm great. I'm I'm gonna try to hold it together and not fangirl out. Come I on, was, I uh... need some of that. Let's <laughs> take it up a notch, right? Listen, That's the thing that makes me feel at home, right? <laughs> listen, I gotta explain to you. This is so crazy to me. The the longevity of your career, the career of this group. I was driving into work this morning, and I was re- I can vividly remember being at a sleepover. In the right. fifth grade, right, with Lakeisha, Christy, Manet, and Laquetti, and we were all arguing over who we were going to marry, ah. and <laughs> like three of them were going to marry you, oh, and so there was I'm a lot. About. Like it was a lot. It was a lot, but I feel like that was yesterday, and now we fast forward to 2023. You guys are going on tour, not just you, but with Guy and Keith Sweat. It oh, is the, like the tour of the century for people of my generation. Like this is it. This ain't, it does not get any better. How does it feel to still be going this strong, to start out that young and to be here now at this point in your life? Oh my goodness. You said a mouthful right there. Um, (laughs) There's so many different ways to answer that question. It's like, I I need an hour, right? Um, We don't have an hour. We don't have an hour. No, no, right. To to (laughs) dig into the magnitude of it all, but it's just blessings. I mean, New Edition for Life has been rocking with us since 1983, right? 40 years in the making, this thing of ours, right? It's not just the six guys and even the seventh member, you know, and my uncle Brooke Payne, but it's, it's, uh, everyone that supported us in every way, whether they purchased the candy girl record or, um, you know, the album or what have you, or purchased the tape of the heartbreak, right. Or, or that, or they bought that ticket of of the triple threat tour and they saw Keith and Johnny, you know, um, Mm -hmm. just every step of the way, or they voted to make sure that, uh, we got that star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, right? Or they watched the New Edition story, which was like, it broke records. The most watched, like, television miniseries damn near of all time, you know, in back of roots, right? Um, so there's so many things that we have to be grateful for, but yet we're still here, right? Like, making even more history, and that's the dope thing about it. Every time we come to the Greensboro area, they embrace us like family, right? Like that's always Mm -hmm. been one of our favorite stops and most electrifying stops on. And it's always sold out, right? There might be a couple other markets that might be like 97 sold out, but (laughs) you know, Greensboro is like 110. They stuffing them in there. So we really appreciate everything that uh, people have been propping us up to do. And we work hard for this. Don't get us wrong. Like blood, sweat, and tears for five years. Like damn that every day rehearsing so that when the opportunity presented itself, you know, mm-hmm. it was able to stand the test of time. And now let's talk about that. Let's talk about rehearsing. Hey, Ricky. Ricky's just joined us. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. So let's talk about the rehearsal because <clears throat> despite being around when New Edition um, what just started, and I, I still feel that young when I'm out with my kids, like it... The I don't it don't move the way it moved back in 1983. How do you guys do all of these shows back to back to back? What does rehearsal look like? What is your recovery program like? We need it. We need tips and advice. <laughs> like, are you icing? Right. Are you doing heat? Are you soaking? Like, Lil how do bang, y'all make Lil, it work? Lil icy hot, low bang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you hold it together with through all of this to get ready? It's actually a, a, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle mm-hmm. change, starting from, you know, getting enough sleep, eating healthy meals, taking all your vitamins and supplements, stretching. We even do a, um, we even do a 20 minute like workout before we actually start rehearsing and dancing and, and, and singing and all of that. So it kind of, it gets you ready. And um, I think for us, the love of it, it's the love of it. It's the fact that 
we didn't know what we were doing when we first got started as far as how to get in the business, how to get a record deal. So all of this right now for us is just it's gravy. We love performing. We love getting up in front of that audience. And when the song drops, hearing that roar, it just gives you energy. So, you know, you could actually go on stage a little tired. But once the lights drop and the audience roars, it just gives you all the energy that you need. And, um, and you know, mm-hmm. it's a challenge sometimes trying to rearrange, you know, the songs, you know, put them in a different order, um, add mm-hmm. new and that we haven't done in a while. So sometimes it's a challenge mentally to try and figure that out. But, um, you know, we, we love the process. And just the fact that people are still willing to pay money to spend their hard earned money to go get their hair done, go on a day, get the outfit, mm-hmm. you know, so much they put into it. We feel like we owe it to them. We owe it to our fans to give them the best we got. Well, we do appreciate it. I know we don't have a lot of time um, with you guys today because when you're doing a national tour, you have to talk to everybody in every market. Um, but, but this is what we want to know because we've got the tour. We're going to all of these cities. You guys are coming to Greensboro, April 23rd. Tickets are still available at the Greensboro Coliseum. Will we get a residency in Vegas? Oh, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. It's just a matter of time, right? We actually wanted it to be a whole lot faster than it's been, right? But Mm -hmm. I mean, God moves in mysterious ways and we pray for the wisdom to know the difference sometimes. And then for the patience at the end of the day for it to come at the right time. So uh, it's definitely in our future and we're looking forward to it. We see so many others killing the game out there from Usher and Janet and everyone else. Celine Dion has an amazing show that I haven't even seen. My uncle's seen it like four times already. Wow. So uh, we definitely have to touch that city for an extended period of time. I think we would all love to have you in one place so that we can just come yeah, yeah. and see yeah. you at our convenience and see it over yeah. and over again. Also, uh, last question, new music. Yes. <laughs> so, so Rick, yo, I just want to say, so we're rehearsing in an amazing place, right? You walk through mm-hmm. the long hallway and you have actually have to pass a really nice recording studio. <laughs> <laughs> before you even get to the dance yes. floor. So there we go. Okay. We go. I don't know okay. if you was going to say that, Rick, but I had to jump in. <laughs> That's perfect. Right. Well, listen, we love everything you do. We can't wait to see you in Greensboro, April 23rd. I love that you all have uh, spanned generations, started with my generation. My husband had us all locked in uh, on New Year's Eve on ABC. Mm-hmm ain't no change in the channel new edition is coming on you know it was like we got to see new edition this is it and the kids were sitting there like wow watching it all into it we our kids are 10 11 and 12 and we were there when you all started so i love to see you guys uh spanning these generations so glad you're on tour so glad you're on tour with guy and keith sweat yeah. Couldn't have asked for a better situation. And uh, hey, we can't don't leave see Tank it. out. Don't leave Tank out. Oh, and out Tank. Before. Oh, how yeah. could I? For how the young could I? You yes. know, he's coming. To, he's coming like within the first 30 seconds, ladies. I'm sure he's going to take his shirt off. So get ready. Listen, <laughs> Listen I think I think uh, the contract says, Tank, you can't get on stage unless you take your shirt off. I think that's Basically, in the contract. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for your continued work and giving and giving and giving to us. We love you. We support you. And we can't wait to see you in Greensboro, North Carolina on April 23rd at the Greensboro Coliseum. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well.